Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. Well, we're ready for our smoothie this morning, and we're going to do those little baby greens again. Now, I wanted to mention about these. We've almost used this whole bag, and of course these I got in Walmart. They, uh, in our area, they've just started carrying these. Now, here's my question. Are the baby greens as nutritious as the full-grown greens. I have not looked that up, but I'm going to. I'm going to do some research. Now, I, when I'm looking up stuff on the internet, I always go to a whole bunch of different sources. I just don't trust just going to one or two websites or videos, and, um, and I also look at who's explaining that. You know what I'm saying? And um, I prefer it to be a doctor or certainly um, someone who uh, has the knowledge to know for sure, you know, where tests have been done. But I'm thinking that the mature greens probably have more nutrition than the baby. Just thinking, you know. Uh, but anyway, these are really good and you don't have to worry too much about the green taste because just put a little orange in it and you never know they're there. Now I am using more of these than, the, than I would if they were mature greens. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and gonna do some research this morning on this. All right, so we got a whole bunch of the baby greens, and we'll put those in the blender first. Now, this is spinach, baby bok choy, baby red chard, and baby green chard. There's some of the red. You can see the red stem there. And I don't know how to tell the difference between the green chard and the spinach, really, when they're, they're baby greens or the bok choy. But anyway, we are quite delighted with these greens. They are just delicious in a smoothie. Let me fix that so you can see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my orange in now. And I did cut around the edges so the whole thing will plop out. So that way we get the pulp too. Now I've only got two more big oranges and then I'm going to have to use the smaller oranges I guess unless I can find some more of these. Yeah, and I have decided that I definitely like the frozen bananas better in the smoothie than even the fresh bananas because they're much, much sweeter, but they don't have all the brown marks on them that one like that does. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to use some grapes this morning, and these are the... Uh, red grapes and they're seedless. I prefer the ones with seeds in the Vitamix because they have a lot of nutrition in the seed. Now, this morning we are going to use the cream of wheat and oatmeal cubes and I'm going to use a couple of cubes of the um, Barclay Barley. I keep saying that wrong. It's barley, okay? I've got two cubes of uh, dates, two cubes of carrots, and of course, a little almond medallions. All right, we're gonna dump that in. Oh, I need my spatula. Hold on. Yeah, so this is gonna be another big smoothie this morning. Yeah, when we have the big smoothies, we can go five, even six hours without even remotely getting hungry, which I like. All right, so we're going to do the bananas now. And again, these were previously frozen, which I just like better than even the fresh bananas. Squeeze out those little end pieces. So you can see, I'm going to pinch 
peel this banana when they get to this certain thawed outness then all of those strings pretty much come off and I like it I like these bananas because I don't have to cut off any of those dark places or bad places and the bananas don't really get bruised or anything so I'll put those in all right got to get my water and so hold on Not put, I'm going to start out with just maybe half a cup of water this morning because I think I've been putting too much water in. All right, now I'm going to have to go with the peanut butter this morning. About that much. I like to see if I can get it down in the middle because the peanut butter, when I wash the beaker out, if the peanut butter hits the sides, you kind of have to do more cleaning of it, you know? All right. Clean that spoon off. All right, we're ready to mix this up. And hopefully it will be sweet enough with the addition of the dates. All right, here we go. Let me move y'all in closer. Yeah, we're really loving these baby greens. And I just want to find out if they are going to be as healthy as if we used mature greens. All right, here we go. still see some of the little specks. You'd have to run it longer not to see those, but those don't bother us at all. I knew I was going to have overage this morning, so. All right. I already know this is good. Very good, very good. I'm going to see the back of this and um, put the uh, nutritional information right here. So they're saying that in three cups you get two grams of protein and it also tells you that 510% uh, of your vitamin K uh, folate 50%, calcium 8%, vitamin C 80%, vitamin A 70%. So, that's very interesting. And they made it really, really small. Can you all see that? Yeah. But anyway, I'm still thinking that the uh, mature greens, and I'm not talking about old greens, I'm talking about, you know, mature greens, I would think would have more nutrition than the baby greens. I'm just thinking Anyway, you could not taste the greens at all. 
I taste grapes, peanut butter, and banana. That's what I can taste in this. Mm -hmm. And of course we've got the whole grain on barley, uh, cream of wheat, I mean uh, oats, which were whole grain. And I'm not sure if the cream of, wheat, cream of wheat is considered whole grain or not, but it's a grain. So we've got three grains in this also this morning. So we will see y'all next time.